Family categories are quite important. The first level of importance, I think, is scheduling. The second is graphical representation. Both are heavily dependent on how we categorize our families. Also, you cannot create additional categories. In this video, I'd like to play around with family categorization and see how it affects our model. First thing I'd like to do is, wow, this will be the first time I've ever done this. See how we have families? Let's go to Sample Structural Family. Click it. Guess it's a truss, but I'm not exactly sure how this is categorized. Let's do this. On the Create tab, click Family, Category, and Parameters. Check it out. It's a structural truss. With structural truss selected, anything that has to do with the structural truss is going to show up down here. We can click OK. It's going to assign an Omni class number. This basically goes to the CSI format classification in here. OK, hit Cancel, close out of here. Let's make a new family. Under Families, let's go to New. I don't like this view. I think it's like that because of when we did the materials video. So let's right click. Let's go view. Let's go to details. Okay. All of these are different types of families. Generally, the only difference between a lot of them is that is the type category. Let's come down till we find generic model. Let's grab that one. This is one of my favorites. Click Generic Model, click Open. Now, what I'd like to do is just create an extrusion. Click Solid Extrusion. On the Draw panel, click the Rectangle button. Hit Escape a few times, and just click Finish Edit Mode. Now. We can make this any kind of family we want. It's just an extrusion. We've done nothing very good. But if we go now to the family category and parameters, let's scroll down till we find structural foundations. Click OK. Hit save. Save it somewhere that makes sense. I'll call it Structural Blob. Click your Options button. Type in 1 for maximum backup. Click OK. Click Save. Now go to the File tab. Let's go to New Project. Let's use our Structural Template. Let's click OK. Go to level one. Now let's go back to our family. Remember, if we go to ref level, here it is. Let's click load into project. Let's pick a spot right here. Look at that. It's a structural foundation, simply a blob. What we can do though, go ahead and click on door. What I'd like to do now is load a family. I'm gonna scroll back to where I'm keeping my document here. Grab structural blob, click open. Notice that structural blob isn't showing up here, only door openings. So if you click door, you're only going to get doors. Even if you load it in, you won't see it. Just so happens that that is a structural foundation. So if we click on isolated, there it is. So some categories are going to fit to what you want that object to be. Some may not, but you can see the importance of actually having a type category for every family you have.